Here's a run to the near side by the Vikings. Again, the ball carry is Elon Anderson. In on the stop, Chase Webster for the Trojans. Welcome to the video end of things. That brings up a first down for the North Ketchup Vikings on the Olympic Trojans 40 yard line. Anderson getting the abundance of cherries for the Vikings on the near hash mark going from right to our left. Shotgun, back to pass, flung out, caught the 32 yard line and dropped there. Pass complete for North Kitsap. Out to the far side, gets it to Josiah Walker, the 6'1 sophomore. Wide receiver, second down and short for the North Kitsap Vikings, picking up good yardage on the play. One more time, second down and short. We'll call it two for North Kitsap. Marching from our right to our left here at Integrity Stadium, just getting underway, 10.54 to go here in the first quarter of play. Vikings march confidently to the center against shotgun for Dawson Anderson, one man in the backfield. Tapping for the football, Anderson hands off, stutter stepping and getting in to the teeth of the Trojans defense at the ball carrier. This time the ball carrier for the North Ketchup Vikings is Carter Dungey. The senior running back for the North Ketchup Vikings, Carter Dungey, remember last year against the, against the Linden Lions came up with a big interception to seal the deal for the North Ketchup Vikings in the playoffs in, in Paul's Bow. Back to pass is the quarterback underneath pressure. He swung back down and sack back to the 43 yard line. Ronnie McCoy in on the sack for the Olympic Trojans, penetrating the backfield. And for the quarterback, Dawson Anderson, had nothing and nowhere to go with the football. He is sacked, brings up fourth down and 12. Good defense that time by the Olympic Trojans, sacking Dawson Anderson for a big loss. Fourth down and 12 for the Vikings to see if they elect to go for it. And, and it appears that they will go for it. Two wide receivers split to the near side. Lean and Anderson split to the near side. Tate Stearns split to the near side. Back to pass. Henry the pressure again in the backfield and sacked to Dawson Anderson. Getting the stack for the Olympic Trojans is Micah Kansas. The 5'11", 230 pound senior gets the sack for the Olympic Trojans. And the, the Trojans will take over on offense after the Vikings go for it on fourth down. Do not come up with a back to back sack by the Olympic Trojan defense. Coming up big for the Olympic Trojans who now have the football and great field position on their own 48 yard line. Shotgun for the quarterback. Castorina back, to, no, he hands off left side. And there's Chase Webster trying to get out to the outside. Picks up a yard or so on the play by Webster. Second down and nine for the Olympic Trojans. Going from our left to our right. All spot on the Trojans' own 49 yard line. 8.55 to go here in the first quarter play. 2-0 Trojans. Riley McCoy, 163 yards plus rushing last week. Andy Trojans victory. Shotgun formation for, again, for Castorina. They'll shift around on offense and back to pass to Castorina. He's going to look to the near side. Lots of time. They'll flip it out to the far side, complete it to 47. Toss it to 45 in North Ketchup. Just attack her at the 40. Runs his ahead at the 37 yard line. Riley McCoy making the catch. Shoving tacklers out of his way and getting a Trojans first down. Nice pick up on the play. Riley McCoy, the Swiss Army knife for the Olympic Trojans, picking up a first down. At the Vikings 37 yard line. Castorina will sprint in from the sidelines with the play from head coach Sal Cativas. Trojans will march up to the line of scrimmage. Far hash mark again, going from our left to our right, and one man in the backfield. For Castorina, surveys the defense, claps for the football, hands off, left side, fumble. And the Vikings will jump on the 40 yard line. A missed handoff and jumping on the football for North Kitsap was Alex Flores, the 5'10, 160 pound freshman, jumps on the loose football 
bouncing around on the unofficial surface here at Integrity Stadium. And the crowd stunned by the turn of events here at Integrity Stadium. It's a botched handoff and jumping on the football. Mitch Nick a moment ago was Alex Flores. With 7.51 to go. Carter Dungey runs out to the near side, picks up five. Flag falls on the 41, waiting the penalty. Looks like it will go against North Kitsap. Jeffrey will hand uh, off the flag, and there's the, there's the call. Holding the block in the back. Illegal block in the back, called against the Vikings. There it is, block in the back. First down. Here's your referees. Rob Shogger is your referee tonight. Your umpire, Larry Williams. Headline has been Frank Gabardella. Jim Leibold, the line judge. Back judge will be Josh Van Wright. And the foul recorder, Ace Beckham. Ball marks back down to the 31-yard line of North Kitsap. Clock stop, 7.30, oh, clock ticking, 7.32 to go. A dump it in the side, count the 30. Bangs off as defenders as Carter Dungey at the 35. Banged out a play and there by Micah Kazas, the 5'11", 230-pound senior for the Olympic Trojans. Brings up second down and, and long now, second down and 14 for the North Kentucky Vikings. Ball spotted on the near hash mark, no score. 7.25 to go here in the... The first quarter play is North Kitsap trips to the far side of the field. Get one man split to the near side, back to pass. He's going to look deep. He's going to go deep. He has a man open at the 33. Good defenders there. Pass intended for Tate Stearns. And a trio of defenders there was uh, Johnny Mack was back there. Also back there was uh, Gavin Wells. Defensively for the Olympic Trojans, brings up third down for the North Kitsap Vikings. Third down and 14 for the North Kitsap Vikings. That time, Dawson Anderson took a shot right over the middle. Three defenders there. Ball flutters incomplete. Trips to the far side for North Kitsap. Dungey to bang, no man in the backfield. He'll swing a bubble pass out to the far side to pass Cock. He'll go for a first down. He gets outside to pay their numbers out to the 40. And picks up a first down. Gets the pass out to the far side to Leland Anderson. Races out to the edge outside to pay their numbers. Races down the far sideline and picks up good yardage on the play for a first down. 23-yard pickup on the play that time by Anderson off the pass by Anderson. Just a simple pass out to the far side. He out races everybody to the edge and Picks up the first down. First down and 10, North Kitsap. Ball on the Olympic 40-yard line. Back to pass again. Things have caught by Anderson at the 33. Wrestled down Passing to the 32. Gary on the stop. Down by Gavin, Wells. Gavin Wells in on the stop Gary for the Olympic Trojans. Down. Brings up a good eight-yard pickup. Second down and short again for North Kitsap. Picking up good yardage on first down. Setting up with the manageable. Second down and short. On the 32. There's a hand up the middle. To Carter Dungey and maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage. We'll see no gain on the play. And it's Dequan Freeland, the 6'4, 280 pound sophomore, in on the stop for the Olympic Trojans. Brings up third down and three. Out to my left, good old George Edgar. Out to my left, bringing, he'll be bringing you the halftime stats and helping me with the stats along the way here at Integrity Stadium in the classic matchup, Trojans and the Vikings. Ball splits the hash mark for the Vikings. Anderson, hands off, right side. Darn Dungy again, he's wrestled down again. A.J. Hudson on the stop for the the Olympic Trojans brings up fourth down. A loose a yard on the play. Brings up fourth down and five for North Kitsap. We know they're going to go for it. And deep in 
The Trojans territory with the ball spotted at the 35-yard line. No score. 520 to go here in the first quarter of play. Both teams have had the football. North Kitts have second offensive possession. This possession coming off a, a fumble by Olympic. As they were driving against North Kitsap. Fourth down and five. Blitz shown by the Olympic Trojans. Tapping for the football is Anderson. Flags will fly into the fray and we'll see what we got. Perhaps somebody perhaps flinched for North Kitsap offensively. Rob Shocker will give us the call. He's been around for a long time. Dead ball foul, false start false against, start the, against the, Vikings. the North Kitsap against Vikings. Down. Brings up fourth down. They march the they march off the penalty yards against the North Kitsap Vikings right now. Ball will be fourth down and 10. Clock will start with the wind of the arm by Shogger. 4.53 to go here in the first quarter of play. No score. Just seems like it was yesterday seeing Bryce Chipley kick that field goal here at Integrity Stadium to beat the Vikings for Olympic League 2A. And that was battling the way back in 2015. You entered the Olympic 2A winner was Bainbridge. Everybody else been by the Vikings with a shot down their far yeah. side. Yeah. Trying to get it to Carter Dungy. There's a man there defensively was Diari Bell, the 5'10 sophomore there defensively. And the pass goes incomplete and the Trojan will take over on offense. Take over on their own 41-yard line. Will the Trojans. Far hash mark for the Trojans and the quarterback, Antonio Castorina. The handoff. Again, the ball carrier is Chase Webster, the 5'11 junior. A running back for the Trojans. Picks up maybe a couple yards on the play. Brought down by Ryan Chalupka. Four oh two and ticking here in the first. Shotgun for the Trojans. Castorina rolls out to the near side. Looking, now he's going to step up in the pocket. Now tuck the ball down and run. Comes at the 45 out of 50. Tip on the man down the ground at the 45. Races down the far side line to Castorina. Sprints all the way down. Steps out of bounds at the Vikings 36 yard line. Wyatt Trogdon is the one that tripped him up and forced him out of bounds. But in big run that time. 10, 20, 33 yard run, 32 yard run by Antonio Castorina for the Trojans. Now, the, the Trojans have the ball deep into Vikings territory at the 26. Far hash bar, I guess Castorina will peer into the sidelines, getting the play sent down from up here. Offensive coordinator, Dan Erickson. There's a a quarterback keeper by Castorino is going to lose about a half a yard on the play. Creeps up second down. Looks like he had an option. Play designed, decided to keep it himself, and the defense by the North Kitsap Vikings swarms on him, and he loses about a half a yard on the play. Second down, and we'll call it 11 for the Trojans. With 3.20 here in the go in the first quarter of play. Man split to the near side for the Liberty Trojans. J.J. Gillick. One man in the backfield is Anderson. He'll take the handoff. Left side. Steps through and gets to the 20 down to the 19. Nice run by Chase Webster. Picked up good yardage on the play. Third down and we'll call it a long three for the Trojans. And we got it. Somebody moved for the Olympic Trojans. Flag at the 19. Ball start called against the Trojans. Remains third down. There's this fly in here. In this, I think there's one fly in here. And he's going to die. 
he's messing with me. He's trying to broadcast because his flight bugging me. Okay. Third down now, and we'll call it eight for the Trojans on the ball on the 24 yard line of the North Get Top Vikings. Shotgun, because for Castrina turns, pivots, fires, bubble screen, caught at the near side. Nothing doing there. The pass caught by Johnny Mack. Swarmed on by the North Kent Vikings defense. Tanner Buckus, the 6'1", 181 pound junior there to make the stop for North Kent But a flag on the field at the 21 yard line. And it appears it's gonna go against the Leopard Trojans. They walk, they're walking backwards. So to penalties have bogged down this drive by the Olympic Trojans. They were perceivably on the move and now a false start and now another penalty coming in. We'll have to wait and see. Perhaps a block in the back or holding. Block in the back it is. On the Trojans going to march the football back. About a 15 yarder, I believe. Ball spotted. Curly spotted at 24. We'll see where they're going to mark this thing off. Scored his first quarter. We had 2.14 to go. One, three, four, and now, four, the here's Rob Shocker with the, going to explain to us here. There's your block in the back. And that's going to be declined by North Kitsap to bring up fourth down. So Jeff Weibel. Going okay. Let's see what you can do on fourth down. The Rob Shocker will wind the arm. The clock will start. And start ticking down from 2.07 here in the first quarter play. Castrina with Webster in the backfield. Back to pass. Plenty of time. His man wide open at the 410 yard line. He's going to rumble down to the four. Pass is caught. Wide open was Gavin Wells. Goes all the way down to the five yard line. A 21 yard pick up to Gavin Wells, who slipped behind the linebacker, was wide open. It is down at the four. Gavin Wells, a big catch from Antonio Castorina. And a 21-yard pickup gives the Trojans a first down and goal at the four-yard line of the North Kitsap Vikings. Chase Webster again, the lone back in the backfield. One man's foot to the near side is Johnny Mack. There's a handoff left side, Webster. And he gets into the end zone. Somehow he gets through all that mess and gets into the end zone. No flags on the field. So Chase Webster goes in from four yards out. We're Olympic. And it's six nothing pinning the extra point with 124. We go here in the first quarter of play. Looked like he was stymied. He didn't need to just kind of slip through. All those bodies and gets into the end zone. Here's the extra point. Low kick and it's blocked. And it's no good. And didn't see who got a hand on it. But with 124 to go here in the first quarter, the extra point is blocked. And it's 6-0. The Vikings on top. The Trojans on top, excuse me. Pause in the action. We'll step aside, we'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Friday Night Lights High School Football on Mega Talk Radio AM 1400 KITZ and ISPNSports.com. Okay, welcome back. Trojans kick off. Ball taken at the 10. That's here. That's a 20, 25, 30. Gets out to the edge. Lowers the boom on a 
On a Trojan, Anderson on the return. Jaden Washington there on the stop for the for the Trojans. And the Vikings trailing at six nothing. Now have the football back with 117 to go here in the first quarter of play. And they have the football on their own 38. All right, back to pass. Here's Anderson, complete at the 42. Pass complete to Tate Stearns. Tate Stearns there to make the catch there defensively for the stop for the Trojans with Tristan Guyon, the 5'9 senior, there to make the stop. Brings up second down, we'll call it a, a four yard pickup. Second down and six for the North Ketchup Vikings going from our right to our left. Swing pass near side behind the intended receiver out at the 47 intended for Ethan Blue, the 6'3", 170 pound wide receiver for the Vikings. And it's third down. Brings up third down for North Kitsap. Ball on their own 41 yard line. Always uh, peer off to the left in the into the north end of the end zone where you see Blue Jacket Stadium where we've been a better part of 13, 14 years broadcasting Kitsap Blue Jackets baseball and they were here. Henderson, quick bubble screen near side and he's met in the backfield, yes, holding on to his dear life and then a swarm of players get there. Right making the catch was Tate Stearns and, and Weaver there to down. make the stop for the Trojans and others. He had a little help from his friends. Brings up fourth down now for the North Ketchup Vikings on the, their own 39 yard line. Andrew not in punt formation. And Kevin so will they will punt the football away team. this time. Back to return the kick for the Trojans is Gavin Wells as tippy toes on his own 26. And there's the punt is blocked. The punt is blocked. And all recovered back all the way at the 19 yard line. Trojans will get it. And jumping on the football for the Olympic Trojans was Johnny Mack, the 5'8 senior. Off the block punt. And maybe Mack was the one that had the hands on it. He was in the. Chase Webster is the one that blocked it. Mack is the one that jumped on it. That's the end of the and that's how the first quarter will come to a close. It's the Olympic Trojans leading. North catch out Vikings. Six to nothing. We'll be back with second quarter action. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Friday Night Lights High School Football on Megatalk Radio, AM 1400 KITZ at ISPNSports.com. We'll be back in 30 seconds for second quarter action. to second quarter action for the North Kitsap Vikings. They see the Trojans leading at six to nothing after one quarter of play. And after the ensuing punt by North Kitsap, the Olympic Trojans block and Mack jumped on it. And the Trojans now going for a right to our left at the football on the 20 yard line of the Vikings. There's a run out to the left side. Riley Mc... This time the the runner was <laughs> Riley McCoy. Picks up good yard join to play. And that's good for a Trojan. That'll be a Trojan's first down. And there's a blitz by North Kitsap. Hands off to 
Webster, and he is buried in the backfield for a big loss. Second down and goal. All the way back at the 15. So 11.23 to go here in the second quarter. Six nothing after one quarter play. Castrino the quarterback, working out a shotgun. Chase Webster, the low man in the backfield. 4-3 defense shown by North Kitsap. Castorina scrambles to the near side. Now he's going to tuck the ball down and run. Gets caught to 10, down to the 5, lunges. Castorina and gets down to the 4-yard line. line. Nice run on the play. Nine-yard pickup on the play that time by Castorina. Looking to the left side. Just decided to tuck the football and down and run. Picks up 9 yards, third down, and goal on the 4-yard line. Called the 3-yard line. And perhaps two down territory for the, for the Olympic Trojans. 10.26 to go here in the second quarter. Webster to deep man. Behind the quarterback cast, Reno handoff, try right left side. Lunges, going backwards, gets shy. As Webster just shy. No, he gets it into the end zone. That second effort by Chase Webster as he lunges towards the end zone. Has the ball crossed the plane, gets into the end zone, and and it's, I, I didn't think he got in, but they're going to call it short fourth down and one. So a big fourth down coming up by the by the Olympic Trojans. Nine fifty-one and the clock tick, tick, ticking away. Webster, the deep man. Again, a handoff left side, and Webster met the line of scrimmage just as he get in this time. He does. Chase Webster gets to his men at the goal line, and it falls into the end zone for the touchdown. A one-yard touchdown plunged by Chase Webster. And you hear the Trojans band. Down below, and the Trojans will not going to go for two. They get 12 to nothing over North Kitsap. Here's Castorina racing over the right side into the end zone. But a two point conversion is good. So Olympic. Goes into the end zone, a one yard touchdown run by by Webster. Two point conversion is good. And it's 14 to nothing. The Olympic Trojans on top. Just a start that the Olympic Trojans wanted. And we were discussing before I came up here tonight, we were talking about maybe the things have changed in the Olympic League 2A to change the power. Inevitable somewhere along the line. So the Trojan gets set to kick off. It's Gab. Gabriel Happily, the 5'10", kicker, senior kicker. He'll run up and the kick. Line drive kick. And bounce, 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 take it to the six yard line. Veers up at the, the hash marks. And this time the return man was Cooper Anderson for the Vikings, short return. North Ketchup will take over on their own 16 yard line. Nine thirty-eight to go here in the second quarter. Fourteen nothing. Trojans on top. First half action here from Integrity Stadium. At halftime, we'll set it back down to Dennis. 
At the Mega Talk Radio Studios with the handoff left side, Cutter Dungey. Tries left side, gets across the 20, out to the 21. Five yard pickup that time by Carter Dungey. Second down and five for North Kitsap. Coming in for the Trojans. Reeve Salisbury, the 6'1, 250 pound sophomore. I'd like to have his parents have this. Uh, grocery bill at home. Trying to fill in 250 pounds. There's a handoff again. Cutter Dungey tries left side. Gets the first down as he crosses the 25 up to the 29 yard line. Did I see a flag fly in there late? Maybe there's something where they, they mark the ball. Perhaps no flag on. Yep, I did see one fl fly in there from the far side. Perhaps holding against North Kitchap, just speculating. Where was that face mask against the Trojans? They'll talk it over. Rob Schager and company. 8.54 to go here in the second quarter. 14 0. Little Trojans on top over North Kitsap as the lights are slowly starting to take as the face mask against the Trojans. 15 yard penalty will move the football ahead for North Kitsap. Fortuitous for the North Kitsap Vikings. Needing some kind of a break and something to get the, the kick starts, the momentum for the offense for North Kitsap and, and their head coach. Jeff Weibel. Shotgun again. Quick bubble screen pass. Caught near side, 38 yard line. And worming out to the 49. Pass complete by North Kitsap out to Tate Stearns, the 6'4 Turin, 25 pound senior wide receiver. Drop there to move the change up to the 44 yard line of North Kitsap. First down and 10. For the for the Vikings. Lost at Tumwater last year in the semifinals. Lost in the championship game to the Linden Lions the year before and to the semifinals semi to the Linden Lions the year before that. Run by Carter Dungey. J.J. Hudson there to make the stop. Carter Dungey loses a couple of yards on the play. Second down and 12. Seven fifty-three to go here in the first half. From Integrity Stadium. The lights slowly starting to take more effect on the field. Beautiful setting of a ballpark. I mean, a little fishbowl down here. Anderson will call for the football handoff left side to Carter Dungey. Dies off tackle, gets across the 45, out to the 46, stop there. Picks up four yards or so on the play. Brings up third down now and eight for the North Kitsap Vikings offense. Third down. Mr. Hanson, the public address announcer, you can hear him in the background. Third down. Big third down for the Vikings. Player splits to the near side. Josiah Walker also splits the near side. Tate Stearns, one man in the backfield. It's Carter Dungey back to pass. And the pass is caught near side, close to the 50 yard line. Dropped there. Well, shy of a first down. The pass complete by the Vikings out to Josiah Walker, who, as I mentioned, was split to the near side. Right near the sideline, makes the catch. But it stopped there at the Trojan 49 yard line. Just gets into Trojan territory. And it'll bring up fourth down. You see if they elect to go for it or punt the football. It looks like they're going to punt the football. And quickly drifting back for the Olympic Trojans to receive the punt is Gavin Wells, a 5'11, 175 pound junior. There's the punt. And the kick. Fair catch called. Go take a Vikings or a Trojans bounce. He hits around the 28 and goes all the way up to about the 32, 33 yard line. And that's where the Trojans will take over on offense. With 6.09 to go here in the first half. 14 0. As North gets out, put up the punt. Up. Drive started on their own 16 yard line and stalls just inside the Vikings and Trojans territory. And so Olympic here in the second quarter with 6.09 to go. We have the football on their own. 32. 
As Castorina, the quarterback, will hand off near side. Nothing doing. As he hands off to Roddy McCoy. Brought down in the backfield. And he is dropped. By Alex Flores. Alex Flores here for North Kitsap to make the stop. Loss on the play of two. Second down and 12 for the Olympic Trojans. The ball the nose of the football is just on their own 30-yard line. Unlike the North Mason Bulldogs and Danner Jones, we saw him underneath center all night long. Shotgun all for the Olympic Trojans. And Pass Rena back to pass and the swing to near side incomplete. Pass incomplete. And a man wide open incomplete. Gavin Wells. Wells. Solomon Fern in coverage. Was uh, the attended receiver. Third down and 12 for the Liberty Trojans. 523 in this first half of the clock stopped. No DJ Joe Frank tonight. He's off, uh, you know, doing DJ stuff. No broadcast tomorrow, so we'll have a Friday night off. February a special edition of Thursday Night Football here on Mega Talk Radio. Back to pass to Cast Arena. Looking left, throws right, pass caught. Out to the right side, breaking a tackle to 29. And lunging ahead is Gavin Wells. And a penalty marker down at the 38 yard line in the backfield. Maybe holding by the defense. We'll have to wait and see. Holding. Nope. Offense on the Trojans. So another penalty. Something Sal Catavis, we're going to talk about at halftime. The head coach for the Trojans is to clean up some of these flags here in the first half. But they do lead it 14 0, 5 15 to go. Over to Powerhouse, North Gets Out Vikings. Brings up fourth down. And it's going to be a fourth down, and the Trojans will have to punt the football away. 50 back for the North Kent Top Vikings is Makoa Safari to return the kick. Sophomore, 5'6", 140-pound speedster. As he'll drift back near his own 30-yard line. Drifting back to Tristan Guyon, who'll be the punter doing the punting duties for the Olympic Trojans. Late man to come on in the field, Gavin Wells for the Trojans. They come in and snap the football. Yep, they go there. We need somebody out there to snap the football. Gavin Wells comes in to do the job. We have a timeout called, I do believe, uh, by the Trojans. Trojans Trojan will call a timeout. 4.49 to play. Here in the first half. Tonight's sponsor, Integrity Roofing, is powered by Integrity Roofing is the proud sponsor of the stadium here at Olympic High School. A portion of this broadcast is brought to you by PC Parts and Service. For PC and laptop service repair and retail. New and used parts and systems, same or next day service. That is PC Parts and Service. Find PC Parts and Service, 1210 Civil Way in East Bremerton. Give them a call, 373-0424. That is PC Parts and Service. All right, Trojans will take the field now after the timeout. Playing the football. Again, it's Guyon punting. And one man back for the Olympic Trojans to return the kick is Mikoa Safri, the 5'6", 140-pound speedster for the Vikings. His tippy toes on their own 36. And Guyon back at his own 20. Here's the punt. High punt. And taking it to 40. Leaves the tackle at the 40. Tries to get it out to the edge and is buried. And the punt was returned. For maybe a yard. Stafford. And in on the stop for the Olympic Trojans. At least one of them was Julian Collins Jr., the 5'4 senior. Was one of many to get there and, and bury him at the official spot at the. See if they can spot at the official spot at the 40 yard line. 4.38 to go here in the first half. 14 nothing. Trojans on top. North Kitsap. See if they can't do something here to wind down the first half. Get some kind of points on the board. 
Near hash mark for the Vikings. Marching from our left to our right with the football with 4.38 to go. Quarterback, Dawson Anderson. Pitches to Tyler Carter Dungey. Gets a good block on the edge. Crosses to 45. Stays on his feet and tripped up and finally gets out to the 48-49 yard line. Pickup of an official, call it a seven yard pickup by Carter Dungey. Second down and three for North catch up. Ball spotted on the far hash mark after a nice pickup by Carter Dungey. We were talking to him last year after beating the Linden Lions. We picked off that pass to, to end it. To end the losing streak to Linden. And some of the biggest games you can imagine the Vikings lost to Linden. Never finally finally able to repay him. Here's Carter Dungy. Kind of stumbling as he gets the handoff from Anderson. Try to get out to the edge. Maybe picks up a yard or two on the play. Shy of a first down by about a yard or so. We got third down and a long yard for the North Kittown Vikings. 3.36 to go here in the first half. Perhaps two down territory for the Vikings with the third down and short. Again, split to the near side is Walker. Dungey in the backfield. One step drop and fires out. Pass caught to Leland Anderson. Stays on his feet, breaks tackles and funny. And lose the tackler at the 47 and springboards himself to the 40 yard line. Call it the 41 yard line. And but we do have a flag on the field at the 44. You want we'll to wait and see what that is. Perhaps going to go against the Olympic Trojans again. Perhaps a face mask. Personal foul, face mask against the Trojans. Yes, sir. So, that'll move the, the ball ahead. Close to the 25 yard line of the Olympic Trojans. Rob Shogger, you can hear him all the way from up here. And so that's going to be at the end of the run. So it's going to be, yeah, the ball's going to be spotted at the Trojans 26. So here comes the Vikings with 3.06 to go in ticking here in the, the second quarter action near hash mark for the quarterback, Dawson Anderson. Connor Dungy just off to his left in the backfield. He'll take the pitch. Trying to get outside, cuts inside, and buried at the 26 yard line. And in the stop, lowering the boom on Denji. Was number 55, Micah Kazas, Kazas, the 5'11 senior. He goes, hello. And Connor Denji buried for a no game. Second down and 10. Kazas comes in and nice tackle, too. Kazas said. Brings up second down and 10. Anderson class for the football. Just looking over the middle, gonna fire over the middle, gonna pass, caught over the middle. At the 10, five, spins in the end zone, touchdown. A 26 yard touchdown to Cooper Anderson. And North gets taps on the board. Nice pass from Dawson Anderson. Throws it over the middle, caught by Anderson, and he races into the end zone. Now pinning the, pinning the extra point. Here's a snap and the kick. It is blocked again at the line of scrimmage. So it's no good. So a 2.06 to go here in the first half. As the PAT is blocked, it's 14 to six. This broadcast is presented by Bremerton 76. 4804 State Highway 303 Northeast in Bremerton, Washington. Home of the best deli. Biscuits and gravy on the go every day. Half order, full order, whatever you want. It's always hot and fresh and good. And of course, a, a wide variety of spirits, wine, fresh made brownies, hamburgers, corn dogs, 
Polish dogs, hot dogs, what do you want? They got it. And a whole bunch of good stuff to wash it down with over at Bremerton 76, 4804 State Highway, 303 Northeast. In East Bremerton, here's the kick. And the high kick taken at the six. Fumbled at the six. Picked up back at the seven. And trying to get outside. Now running at the middle. Getting some good yardage as return man Chase Webster. And gets out to the 27 yard line. 21 yard return. After bobbling it, Webster picks it up at the seven and, and gets out to the 26 yard line. First down and 10 for the Liberty Trojans. 158 to go here in the first half. Castorino will come in from the sidelines with the, with the play. Senior quarterback for Sal Catavis. Vikings will dig in defensively. He's trying to get the football back before halftime. He finally get into the end zone, a 26 yard touchdown pass and catch to Cooper Anderson. Extra point was no good, 14-6. And we have a timeout call by, timeout by the, the Olympic second Trojans, their second timeout of the, of the half. Okay, there's a timeout on the field. We'll step aside as well and hear from our friends that help put this broadcast all together. We're back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Prairie Analyze High School Football. Okay, welcome back to the, the broadcast. 158 to go here in the first half. Trojans with the football, first down and 10, going from our right to our left. Leaking 14 to six. Here's a handoff near side, trying to get out. Is the ball carrier outside the numbers? Chase Webster again, the ball carrier for the Olympic Trojans. He has a good yardage on the play. See where they're going to spot this football. They're going to spot it at the 38. And that's good that's for a first Trojan. down. 12-yard pickup on the play by Chase Webster. Trojans with the football near hash mark. Going from our left to our right. Into a handoff in the backfield again. Is Chase Webster running the football. Gets out to the 45-yard line. Seven-yard pickup on the play by Webster. Webster getting a lot of carries tonight. Simply because they're... Another king on Riley McCoy. Chase Webster getting the abundance of carries today. Here's a handoff again to Webster. Across to the 45, 50. Webster carries across midfield. Gets it across midfield and, and it's good for a Trojan. Picks up a first down. At the North Kent Top 49. Tick tock goes the clock. First half. 109 to go. 14 6. Trojans on top and with the football and the lead. Trying to add more right before the half. Castorino shotgun and Webster, the deep man in the backfield behind him. Back to pass. Double screen near side pass. Got the 49. Racing out to the 45. Passing taking a shot. Is JJ Gillick, the six foot sophomore. Blasted out of bounds. At the 43 yard line of North Kitsap. Seven yard pickup on the play by the Trojans. Second down. Clock stop with 55 seconds to go. In Webster, the deep man in the backfield for the Trojans. Castrina claps and rolls out. Now he steps up in the pocket. Now dumps one out. Wide open as Riley McCoy to 37. Racing down this near the sidelines. Cuts in. It scores. Riley McCoy. 49 yards. 43 yards, rather, by Riley McCoy. He just took a pass, runs down the near sideline, cuts up, and now races everybody to the end zone. 43-yard 
pass to Ronnie McCoy, and he races into the end zone. Big score by the Olympic Trojans right before halftime. Trojans fan in the backfield, and the extra point is no good. So the Trojans lead it 20 to 6 with 43 seconds to go here in the first half. Action back first half. That time is. Raleigh McCoy. Taking a quick pass from Castorina. Raced up the side, then he put a move to cut inside the hash marks and raced into the end zone. He beat it. I'll race everybody there. Broadcast also brought to you in part by the Fraternal Order of Eagles, Bremerton 192 in East Bremerton. 2122 Sheridan Road, Northeast Bremerton, the Fraternal Order of Eagles, 192. Helping others since 1898. Okay, here's where he's, the kickoff from Hapley. The line drive kick, we taking it to 20. Resting out to the hash mark, now trying to reverse his field to return, man. Evan Williams, the 5'10", 165-pound sophomore for North Kitsap, gets out to the 27-yard line. That's where the Vikings will take over on offense with 38 seconds to go here in the first half, turning it 20-6 to the Olympic Trojans. I know it's early in the season, but I was telling somebody earlier, whoever wins this game can certainly have a heads-up to perhaps win the Olympic 2A and for the Trojans. It'll be the first time since 2000. And 15, as the uh, aforementioned Bryce Chipley kicking the field goal against the, against the Vikings back in 2015 to shock the North Kitsap uh, Vikings back in that, in that game. We were here broadcasting that game. It was Bedlam back in 2015. Running out is uh, Anderson at the far side. Turns and fires to the 32 yard and pass Scott to Leland Anderson. Brought down by Donovan Weaver. Donovan Weaver there to make the stop for the Trojans. Minimal gain, four yard pickup on the play by the North Kitsap Vikings, and the Vikings will take a timeout. This broadcast also brought to you in part by Manette Day Spa. 1007 Scott Avenue in Bremerton, Washington. Manette Day Spa. Book your appointment now. I go and get a Swedish massage. Every six weeks, man. Deep tissue, Swedish massage, can't beat it. You know, you get the really deep, deep tissue. <laughs> get a little sore the next day. It all, it hurts so good. And uh, go see Layla down there at Minette Day Spa. Order Minette Day Spa. 26 seconds to go here in the first half. 20 to 6, the Trojans on top. I see a lot of familiar faces back up here in the, the luxury suite where they roll out the red carpet. <laughs> okay, here's a long pa uh, pass near side. The pass has gone to the 38 yard line. Anderson gets it up to Josiah Walker in a rainbow pass. Kind of the 39 yard line. Big pick up on the play. So with 14 seconds to go, here we go. The Vikings pull off a rainbow maker and complete the pass. Anderson back to pass. Goes over the middle, pass tips the line of scrimmage. And then a flag will fly in late. It's gonna be roughing the passer against the Trojans. Is finding himself on his backside is Dawson Anderson. Roughing the passer goes against the Trojans. 
And uh, I don't know if they are going to call targeting on this. They're going to talk it over. But after he got rid of the football, it was tipped at the line of scrimmage, and somebody came through for the Trojan to pop to Anderson. And we'll see if there's going to be uh, targeting, perhaps, or not targeting. Regardless, the penalty is going to go against the Trojans. Depends on the severity of the penalty. Well, we already know it's going to be jumping the gun on it, but it, it should be roughing the passer. We'll just have to go from there and see. Here's Rob Shager. Okay, so no targeting. Just a roughing the passer. It'll be a first down. They march the football way far ahead. So with five seconds to go, they can take a crack at this end zone. Not sure. They know they have a good kicker. You guys, you guys normally do have a good kicker. I don't know if they're going to the try it from this distance. So right now it'd be a 24, 30, or 41 yarder if they attempt it right here from with five seconds to go. So a timeout again, pause in the action. Five seconds to go, 20 to six is your score here in the first half. Broadcast also brought to you in part by Tiny Mushroom Sign Shop. A sign shop company based out of Bremerton, specializing in interior and exterior signage. And it's Tiny Mushroom Sign Shop. 607 North Calo and East Bremerton. So, they will try it. Like I mentioned, they have a good kicker. And Andrew Nutt, right now, is going to be a 41 yard attempt. Here's the snap, the spot, the kick. It looks good, and it is good from 41 yards. Andrew Nutt drills it. From 41 yards at 20 to nine here at halftime. So Andrew Nutt, I was talking to Jeff Weibel on the K-Max show normally here, I heard on Thursday night from six to eight a few weeks ago in our team preview, and. They always seem to have a good kicker. This time, Andrew Nutt, he nails it through, and that's where we are at halftime. 15 minutes on the clock. Waiting for the third quarter to come around. 20-9 here at the break. Speaking of the break, we will send it back to... But first of all, before we go to a uh, break, we got George Edgar. The halftime Not much in the numbers, but, for, but we got some. Let's see. Carter Dungey for North Kitsap. Rushing, he's their leading rusher. 10 carries for 22 yards. Dawson Anderson passing. He has 153 yards passing on. 1, 2, 3, 6. 12 of, 12 of 17 from the, 12 of 17 from the field. With, one, with the touchdown pass. The touchdown pass. Leland Anderson, five of those catches are 52 yards. Josiah Walker, three catches for 53. Tate Stearns, two catch, three catches for 13. And Cooper Anderson with a touchdown pass on 26 yards. For Olympic, Chase Webster, their leading rusher last week. He has currently 10 carries for 37 yards and two touchdowns. Riley McCoy, two carries for eight yards. Winning games, going, they were both over 100 last week, 150 last week. They might be, could be warming up for the second half right now. Antonio Castellano, four carries of 47 yards, including that 31-yarder in the first quarter. He's also in zone for 96, 96 yards on six or seven passing. Two of those passes went to Gavin Wells for 19 yards, another two to Riley McCoy for 58. And one, one to J.J. Gillick for six yards, and one, one to McCoy for... Oh, two, three to McCoy for uh, two, two for 58. All right, there it is. Thanks, George. And that's going to do it here for first half here from uh, Integrity Stadium. That time taken down. We got 14:48 uh, to go here before the third quarter. We'll take. We'll send it back to Dennis back at the KATZ Studios.